The National Food Security Processing and Marketing Corporation, formerly called Gambia Groundnut Corporation, have announced the closure of the 2023 to 2024 groundnut trade season during a press conference held at the institution's office in Banjul. The press are also aimed at clearing doubts following reports that the corporation owed some farmers. A Faria newspaper on February 23, 2024, indicated that the government of the Gambia through Gambia Groundnut Corporation is still owing farmers in the Upper River region over $1,700,000. However, speaking to journalists, Deputy Managing Director Lamin El Sanyan said their partner, Ajib Bank Limited, stopped a total amount of $1.5 billion to buy groundnuts, including commission money used to pay to the farmers, which amounts to $40 million. He said the money is already been paid to farmers for handling their groundnuts. I'd like to present to you with regards to the amounts of money that was disposed of giving to each circle by Aji, our partner, to buy groundnuts for this corporation. And we are going to look at it in circle forms. We are going to start in Barra. When I say Barra, we have Barra Circle, we have Kerewan Circle, and we have circles as we go on. Now the first CPMS that I'm going to uh, call will be in Sierra, in Banks and Saco. And that is Flabanta. The amount of money that they receive from Ajib to buy granules was $10 million. Now, the amount of granules that they purchase is 286 723 uh, 733 kilos now what they deliver to our depots is 247 tons 950 kilos Therefore, they have a shortage. Maybe because the CPMS are 94, we'll go through them for the record. But if you want, also we can print and give it to you so that you can, uh, maybe I may be having some you know, uh, uh, differences in, 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 in decimals. But here is a, uh, a well-presented uh, report. So that will be available to you, the journalists, to publish for the Gambians to know what actually happened. Now, if you go to uh, Santiago Bubu, how do you call it? Santonto Bubu. Now, the amount they received for purchase of ground is seven million. 300,000. Now, the amount or quantity of granule they purchase is 191 tons, 959 kilos. Now, what they deliver to our depot is 159 tons. 930. And therefore, they also have a certain. Lamin further revealed the amount received by Karantaba, Jifarong, Japine, among others. Karantaba in Sami, they receive 6 million, right? Yes. 6 million, 100,000. What they bought was 159 metric tons, 300 kilos. What they delivered 
was 154,720. There's a shortage. Sibano, in, in West Coast, they received 14 million 300,000. What they purchased was 375 metric tons, 720. What they delivered was 358 metric tons, 520. There's a shortage. Jifarong. They received 18 million 200 thousand. They bought 778 metric tons, 837. What they delivered to our depot is 391 tons, 10 kilos. There's a shortage. Quinella, they received 24 million. Now, what they bought is 331 metric tons. 631 metric tons, 578 kilos. What they delivered to our depot was 561, 400 kilos. That's a serious shortage. Mr. Sanyang asserted the measures they are going to take for the recovery of the money. We are going to put a mechanism to ensure that this amount is recovered from the surplus. And that is in two folds. One, they still have some commission to be paid. And we are going to look at it and see each circle. How much is your commission that remains with the corporation? And of course, all of us are aware that this money belongs to Gambians. It's not free money. You know, we went to uh, take a, we take a, we took a loan from IG to finance the trade system. You know, uh, of which the, the government is a guarantor, and this money therefore belongs to you and me, including the several president themselves. So it must be recovered, and we will recover it. He revealed that their target, as per their budget, was twenty five thousand tons, but went extra to buy up to thirty six thousand tons and now their focus is on the production mechanism. Lamin said, out of 95 circles, 55 circles delivered as expected without shortage, and they are going to commend them with certificates for their efforts. And the circles who didn't deliver with shortages, they are not going to hesitate to take legal actions against them. Reporting for N24 TV, I am Fatubi Kamara.